Welcome back, Star Gamers. Thank you for taking the time to come and see this video. It's the Stargamer.space Top 5 Games of 2016. I just threw this together pretty quickly. I thought maybe, maybe I should do it. And you know what? I played a lot of Everspace this year. I really enjoyed it. I finally figured out how to kill these damn capital ships. You see me taking one out right now. This is actually my second capital ship. There's new ships in this game that you can play. And it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely... I mean, it's not the best game ever made. It's pretty one-dimensional. There's no story that I can see. I mean, you really have to dig for some story. But um, it's fun to play. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. This is what I'm looking for when I play a video game. I just want to fly through space and shoot at things until I get bored of that and then you know when I put it down I don't feel like I'm missing anything you know when I feel like playing I play and uh, that makes it a good game for sure so number four definitely it's still Battlefront particularly the DLC I almost like the DLC more than I like the original game the Death Star battles uh, the Death Star DLC was very fun I still want to play it I still enjoy playing it and of course the Scarif DLC from the War Rogue One movie is amazing it brings me back to all the great Star Wars games I used to play and reminds me of the movie the best parts of the movie and you know it is awesome it is exciting and fun and just a joy to play and again you can also put it down it's not um, you know a life consumer it's just sort of you know you play your you play your battles and and then it's finished you can go play something else ever space or whatever you might want so <clears throat> and it is pretty challenging too number three was actually Call of Duty Infinite Warfare this one was a big surprise the multiplayer was your standard Infinite Warfare, no biggie, no, I don't even care about that. But this game, I almost wish it wasn't part of Call of Duty, because I'd like sequels, I'd like real multiplayer where you do stuff like this, where you and a bunch of guys maybe storm a base from orbit. How fun would that be? Or maybe, um, you know, fly jets and stuff the way you do in uh, Battlefield, more Battlefield-like stuff, and Battlefront. But unfortunately, um, the campaign was the best part of this game. It was exhilarating, a really good story. Some of it needed a little bit more thought, but that's okay. It was still one of my favorite games this year. A lot of fun to play. I'm really glad they made it. And just so much fun. I mean, like landing on the moon like that. So number two! <laughs> Number two is actually tied. I put Gears of War in here, and uh, it was so much fun. If you remember this moment in, in the campaign, Robo exhilarating. My heart was pumping when this happened. And it was just a really fresh story, a really, you know, I've never seen anything like this in, you know, in Halo or any other game, right? And it was just so exciting, and the story was great. I've got a little, uh, to make. I haven't actually finished this campaign. Uh, basically, when you get to the top of this uh, swarm warren, you uh, to find out that you have to go all the way back down, and that's when I kind of put the game down. I was like, yeah, uh, no, I don't want to go back down there. Not till I'm ready. So I will go back and finish it, but just not right away. And I actually want this game to share its spot with Doom. Doom was excellent and very good and the number one game of the year for star gamer is titanfall a very big surprise um any you know they remedy uh and uh vince sampella he uh you know seemed to try their damnedest to make me want to hate this game and uh in spite of that they actually put together a really amazing campaign amazing multiplayer i didn't play i played Titanfall 1 a bit not that much um, so I don't see I don't agree with the complaints that there was something 
missing from Titanfall 2 that was in Titanfall 1. No, I actually think that this is a better game. Better stories, campaign was phenomenal. Just so exciting to play, so interesting. So the bond between, you know, you're the man and the machine and the AI and everything was just fantastic. So there you have it, our top five from last year. Lock in coordinates to stargamer.space. And don't forget we're on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, drop by the website as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And punch it, Chewy!